What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future for future readings. Thanks, everybody, for all the love and support to the channel. We're at twelve thousand nine hundred and ninety five subscribers, so we're almost at twelve to twelve two. So thanks so much for all the love and support to the channel. If you'd like to donate, it's High Priestess Tro Five. The links in the description box below. PayPal only, no cash app, no Venmo. It's a very private, confidential way to donate. I do not publicly display how much you donate or um, or your name on the channel for privacy and confidentiality purposes, just to let everybody know for the newbies just joining. This is Oracle card reading for mid-April 2022 for the sign of Taurus. This could resonate if you have Taurus in any aspects of your charts. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, Benham, and Jupiter charts. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it apply. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate and um, leave the rest. Taurus, I think you might be emotional over a situation or someone you're connected to might be emotional over you or, in a, or a situation because cars just flew out and this is way too many. So I'm going to try again. Um, or you could be dealing with someone with addictions or you could have addictions because that can, uh, when that happens in a reading, that can go either way emotional instability or someone dealing with someone with addictions or you having addictions um so you plug it in however it resonates and honestly it would go well with the one of the spiritual downloads i got for your oracle card reading um as far as dealing with someone with addictions so you plug it in your own life how it resonates if that resonates for you um this is for mid-april 2022 but i know it one of you guys Y'all are one of the last signs I did because I didn't feel guided to do y'all at that time. And it's April 22 uh, of 2022. So it could resonate now, it could resonate in May, it could re I mean, whenever. There's millions and billions of people in the world and ton of Tauruses. So you just plug it in your own life how it resonates. One message may resonate, two plus may resonate, none may resonate. You, you plug in your own personal situation however it resonates for you if it does. Spirit messages you have assigned to us. So the downloads I received as I was meditating on your mid-April 2022 um, Oracle card reading was uh, Taurus's college-aged child is about to get kicked out of college soon. And then it was about 45 seconds after that I heard um, drunk and disorderly. Drunk and disorderly. So that might go with the college child that's about to get kicked out, kicked out of college or not, the drunken disorderly part. I don't know. Only you know your story, not anybody else. So you have to plug it in how it resonates. But that's the two downloads I got. But for one of you Tauruses, you have a college-age child, I'll tell you that. And I heard they're about to get kicked out of college. Now, why in the... I mean, that really could resonate a million different ways for a million different college-age children of Tauruses. Um, I don't, you know, it might be grades. It might be, they might be on probation. They might get arrested for some kind of drunken disorderly, and it leads to a series of chain events for them to get kicked out. I mean, I'm not sure. Only you and your child, college-age child, knows um, your story and their story, not anybody else. So you plug it in your own life, how it resonates. If it does resonate, okay. But I heard a Taurus's college age child is about to kick out, get about to get kicked out, kicked out of college soon. And then I heard drunken disorderly about forty five seconds after that. So maybe you're drunken disorderly, or somebody you're connected to is drunken disorderly. Maybe somebody gets arrested on drunken disorderly. I didn't hear arrested. I just heard drunken disorderly. So you plug it in how it resonates. If it resonates for you, Taurus, number thirty or forty six. Or 49 or 24 could be very significant numbers in one's life. 30, 46, 49, 24 it could be possible ages of you or somebody you're connected to, possible lottery number, possible day of birth number, possible green card number, possible jersey number. 30, 46, 49, 24. You could be dealing, ooh, you have double earth sign energy in here. So for one of you guys, I strongly feel you're dealing with uh, an air sign or several air signs, maybe for some of you guys. You have two air sign animal spirit cards in here. Air signs are Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. They can have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, North, and Benham, and Jupiter charts. I strongly feel maybe for one of you Tauruses, your college-aged child is the air sign, possibly. Um, a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, masculine or femme, possibly. But you plug in your own life, however it resonates, if it resonates for you. 
Grasshopper Spirit, take a leap of faith. Now, a particular Taurus is about to shock everyone and move religious organizations, churches. This church has been in the middle of a heavy lawsuit and they it's about to not fare well for them. Oh my lord, so you plug it in how it resonates, Taurus? Holy crap. So if this resonates for you, you go to church. Um, you go to church, you're religious. And now everybody knows I'm just spiritual, not religious, but I do not judge. Absolutely not. You could be religious and spiritual or just spiritual like I am. But whoever you are, I guess you're, I'm presuming you're religious and spiritual. You go to church. So that's why I say that. But you're in the middle of, you attend some kind of church that's in some kind of very heavy legal issue right now. Sounds like a lawsuit or something of that nature with person, people, place, family, situation, organization. I heard it's not going to fare well for this church. Intuitively, I feel you know this. And that's why you're about to cut ties with this church. That's what I'm feeling. Um how that resonates um so take a leap of faith i think is you about to shock the hell out of, out of everybody and cut ties with this church is what i feel like whoever you are taurus masculine or feminine taurus and a masculine taurus pastor is about to be charged soon he's been trying to avoid it but it's about to happen many charges coming Oh, my Lord. Ooh, and a masculine Taurus pastor, I heard, is about to be charged soon. Many charges coming. He was trying to avoid it, but it's about to come. So some kind of, he's done something very criminal, whoever this masculine Taurus pastor is. Um, um, the first message for the churchgoer, I, obviously you're not the Taurus pastor, masculine Taurus pastor. You are somebody else. You might be connected with this masculine Taurus pastor, possibly. But I, I heard this masculine Taurus pastor is about to get charged. Many charges. It sound, I mean, he's done something very criminal. I don't know what the crap he's done. I didn't hear that. But um, he's been trying to avoid it. He's been trying to avoid the charges, criminal charges, avoid uh, jail or prison or whatever is coming to him, I guess. But um, it sounds like it's about to come. So you plug it in, how it resonates. So take a leap of faith. Um, I think separating yourself, if you are connected to this pastor, very toxic masculine Taurus pastor, or to this church, I think you're about to separate away. Um, holy moly. A Taurus is about to get a new vehicle soon. It's about to make them very happy. Okay, I heard a Taurus is about to get a new vehicle soon. It's about to make you very happy, Taurus. Masculine or feminine Taurus, about to get a new vehicle. Heard it's about to make you very happy. It could be new to you or new, new. However, that resonates in one's life. Peacock spirit, let it shine. A Taurus is about to send... Very significant emails and screenshots of the past to federal agents soon. About to expose, expose, expose. An air sign is not going to be happy about this. Know, know this, but you already know this. Oh my gosh, Taurus. Woo. So you plug it in, how it resonates, whoever you are for this one. Um, you have some very significant screenshots and emails of the past from some kind of air sign energy. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, energy, mask, or femme, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Only you know who this air sign is in your life, not anybody else. But you have some kind of significant emails and text, uh, not text messages, emails and screenshots. It sounds like from them or for some, it's a group chat. For some, it's a group chat. Okay, so for some, it's emails. For some, it's screenshots. For some, it's some kind of group chat energy. I'm assuming the screenshots could be from the group chat. Um, but it's some kind of very serious situation of the past. Um, you're about to send them to federal agents. Um, so the let it shine in this instance is you, it sounds like exonerating yourself from this very toxic situation. 
wiping your hands clean of it and sending it to federal agents because you don't want to be a part of it. it sounds very criminal for some it could be this tourist pastor was involved possibly for some not i mean i don't know but an air sign is very heavily involved either in this group chat um this uh email or this screenshot interview however that resonates but you're about to let it shine i'm feeling to federal agents in that instance so you plug it in how it resonates holy moly a uh, taurus uh, pregnant taurus feminine is very significant to a scorpio masculine and a Pisces masculine and a Capricorn masculine. Okay, I heard a Taurus pregnant Taurus femme is very significant to a Scorpio masculine, a Pisces masculine, and a Capricorn masculine. So, um, youth pregnant Taurus femme, maybe your maybe you have your partner is a Caps masculine, a Pisces masculine, or a Scorpio masculine. You're very significant pregnant Taurus uh, femme to. Either a Caps masculine, a Scorpio masculine, or a, um, or a Pisces masculine. And a Taurus masculine for some. And a Taurus masculine. So I feel your partner's either a, a Caps masculine, a Pisces masculine, a Scorpio masculine, or another Taurus masculine. Um, but you're pregnant. I think you're about to let it shine. Uh, I think you're about to tell people you're pregnant. Um like I said, those four masculine energies, I feel they're either your partner or your father or your grandfather or an ex or a brother or someone connected to you, um, whoever they are and how they plug in your life. I heard Caps masculine, Pisces masculine, Taurus masculine, Scorpio masculine. But I think you're about to let it shine that you're pregnant. Um, send out pregnancy um, notifications that you're pregnant, maybe uh, the ultrasound pictures, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, however that resonates in one's life, to pregnant Taurus fam. A Taurus masculine is about to lay into a Scorpio masculine very heavily. Knows he's a huge liar. Holy crap. Okay, I heard a Taurus masculine is about to lay into a Scorpio masculine. Uh, lay into, I, th I think it's like verbal. Verbal lay into him, not physical lay him out. Um, I think verbal, but... You plug in your own life, how it resonates for us, masculine. Oh, you know your story, not anybody else. But I heard you're about to lay into him uh, because you know he's a huge liar. So you plug it in, how it resonates. I think in that aspect, you're about to let it shine um, what you know. And you're about not to hold back um, on this Scorpio masculine. It's a Taurus masculine to a Scorpio masculine. In this aspect, whoever you are, Taurus masculine, only you, only you know your story, not anybody else. So you're about to let it shine the truth. You're about to. You're about to put your feelings out there to him, is what I'm feeling. You're about to completely just put your feelings out there to him. No holds, no bar kind of energy is what I'm feeling. But you plug it in how it resonates. A flight attendant is about to become very significant in, in a Taurus's life. Taking it to the back? Pulling up the skirt? Oh my God, whoa! Holy crap, Taurus. Um... Whoa, I think one of you guys is about to hit on a flight attendant or they're about to hit on you so much so you're about to take it to the back, pulling up the skirt. I hope they enjoy this and they don't get you for sexual harassment. I'm just saying. Um, you plug it in how it resonates. I think it's you hitting on this flight attendant. I don't think it's a flight attendant hitting on you, whoever you are. Um, Taurus, you can be masculine or femme Taurus, but um, taking it to the back and pulling up the skirt is what I heard. Um, so 
hopefully it is mutual and you don't get charged with sexual harassment. Um, just saying, just saying. But however this resonates in one's life, your Taurus, let it shine. I think is your, this is sexual here. This is not feelings. This is not emotions. This is carnal. This is sexual. This is, um, holy moly and mighty. Letting it shine your sexual urges to this flight attendant is what I'm feeling. Oh my gosh. Whoa. Peacock. We have double peacock energy in here. I just want to say peacock spirit and peacock card. Um, I think one of you guys either likes peacocks or maybe feathers are significant in your life or um, the color purple or green is significant in your life. And green is heart chakra related. Purple is royalty for anybody who doesn't know. Um, but I think purple or green might be significant in one's life as is possibly the peacock or um yeah yeah and definitely an air sign is significant for at least one of you guys holy crap or feathers or feathers too A particular Taurus is very, very, very stubborn. Very stubborn. Does not want to admit the past. But through many series of chain of events, it's about to come flooding towards you whether you want it to or not. For some, it's a child you have no idea you conceived. For some, it's a secret seven situation. For some, it is angry landlords. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. Wow, Taurus. Um, so if this resonates for you, um, you're very, very prideful, whoever you are. You're a very prideful person. You don't want to admit the past in some shape or fashion. Whoever you are and how this plays in your life. But um, it sounds like the past is about to come rushing back, whether you want it to or not. Whoever you are and how this applies. For some, I heard it's the Secret 7 situation. So, I mean, Secret 7 energy still in here. Still. My God, over two years and it's still in here. Now it's, you know, it's a, a lot, of, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot has changed with Secret 7 situation. A freaking shit ton. But it still happened in the universe. It still happened. So for some, it's the Secret 7 situation coming, flooding back to you in some shape, form, or fashion. Now, however, it's about to flood back to you and however that resonates. For some, it's angry landlords. And for some, it's a child that you don't even know is in the universe that apparently is your child. Um, and it sounds like you're about to get communication of this child that exists in the universe that you don't even know exists. So you plug it in in your own life, how it resonates. Uh, hopefully you get a um, DNA test on the child, um, because, you know, people can claim that it's your child all day long, but, um, uh, the DNA test would, um, uh, paternity test, DNA test would actually prove it's your child before you get locked to any kind of child support or anything like that, you know, uh, protect yourself kind of energy. But, you know, only you know the actions you're going to take on that if that plugs in your life. But there's three different situations there. Um, prideful forces. Um, one is Secret 7 situation. One is uh, very angry landlord. So I feel you're a renter. Um, I feel you are the owner of the home or homes or um, you are a... Uh, uh, maybe the head of a um, housing management agency or something or a manager of the housing management agency or something. Um, and for some, it is um, the secret child that somebody's about to claim is yours. But like I said, if I, I, I was you, which I'm not a man, whoever the one with the secret child energy, you obviously have to be a man. I'm not a man, but I would request a DNA test, paternity test um, to protect yourself. I mean, who knows how old this child is? They might be one, they might be five, they might be 50 for all we know. Um, of course, if it's a 50 year old, you wouldn't be paying child support on them, but I'm just saying. Fair danger, especially in money matters. A Taurus's former friend, heavy, heavy, heavy drug addict is about to come towards them. They're going to want money.
Okay, I heard a uh, Taurus's former friend, a drug addict, is about to come towards them. Um, they're going to want money. I don't feel that really goes with beware of great pride. Um, I think that's more like take a, take a leap of faith and the danger, especially in money matters. As far as I feel you might have to put um, boundaries up with this person. Take a leap of faith and put boundaries up with this person um, because they're going to try to, I mean, they're a drug addict, drug addicts, period. Gamblers, drug addicts, sex addicts even, and alcoholics. They don't, they're very selfish people. They're very selfish. I mean, they're people too, just like me and you, but they are very selfish. That's what they all have in common. They do not usually think twice about taking somebody else's money, period, to fulfill their selfish, greedy urges. And that's just the truth. Um, so I think they're, go they're going to try to swindle you for some damn money. At least they're going to ask you, but still. Um, it doesn't sound like they're going to like steal it through cyber theft or anything like that. But um, I would just be careful. Of course, you only, you are the manifestor of your own destiny. You can give them the money if you want, but addicts don't have boundaries. They don't have boundaries because they don't know boundaries in themselves. So I would just be very careful. Um, danger, especially money matters, is um, some kind of former drug addict friend about to come to you want some money. Danger, especially in money matters, And Aries is about to become very significant in Taurus's life. Date energy for some. For some, internet catfisher. Okay, I heard Aries is about to become very significant in Taurus's life. For some of these Aries, it's um, a date energy. So I feel you're about to go on a date with an Aries. Um, and for some, they might ask you or you might ask them how that resonates with some kind of date energy with the Aries energy. Um, and for some, um, online catfisher energy. And that could be where the danger, especially money matters, comes in because um, online catfishers, they usually pose, you know, not as obviously not this as their selves. They usually use other people's photos, pretend they're somebody else. But they're the whole point in this usually it's online dating where they try to swindle people on the catfishing game online. Um they uh they want money. They want money online. Usually they want money online before they will even talk to you. Well sometimes not that sometimes they will talk 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 to you to get you lured in but once they hooked you and they know they got you hooked, they want money to continue talking to you. Um, otherwise, they'll gaslight your ass. And then once they know that they've got you hooked in, that's when they go for the money. So I think somebody, one of you forces, is about to get swindled by online catfisher. And I feel for a lot of you guys, it's in the online dating realm because somebody's about to go on a date. Um, and I'm serious about that. So just be careful whether it's online dating or not. There's some kind of online catfishing energy. They're about to try to swindle you for some money. Um, so be careful. You've got the danger in money matters. I feel it's a lot of money. And I'm serious. A married Taurus feminine's husband is about to withdraw from, from the account. A lot of money. It's about to piss you off. You're not going to know where this money's going. They're about to be very smart about it. Oh, my Lord. So you plug it in, how it resonates. Dealing, some dealing with the cancer masculine. Okay. So some of you married towards mass, uh, married towards fans. You're married. You're legally married, and your husband, I feel for some, is a, a, a cancer masculine. Um, for some, it may not be a cancer masculine, but very specifically, I heard at least one of you guys is dealing with a cancer masculine husband. Uh, he could have cancer in his sun, moon, rising, Venus, ortho, mid hand, or Jupiter charts. Um, maybe for other tour, married Taurus masculine, I'm at, sorry, married Taurus fans that's about to get swindled out a shit ton of money from your legally married spouse. 
he might not, might not be a cancer masculine, but at least for one of you guys, it's a cancer masculine. I'm just being real. Um, but anyways, I feel it's at least for two of you guys in the universe, but your own legally married husband, I heard is about to withdraw from the account. So I think you both are on the account in some shape, form, or fashion. I heard a very large amount of money. And he's not going to tell you where it's going to go. You're not going to find out. But it sounds like he's about to withdraw it in a very large amount. So you're not going to see it coming through the account where it's going. Because he's about to withdraw it from in a very large amount. So he's going to have cash in hand. So he's going to have this cash in hand. And he's just going to, wherever he's putting it all over the universe. But, you know, once it's not in the account. You're not, obviously, you're just going to see probably the withdrawal of the very large and cash, in, cash infusion he's about to withdraw out of the account. So he's doing it in a smart way because you're not going to know where the hell the money's going. But it sounds like he's doing it in a smart way for a reason. But it sounds like you're both on the account, so it's not like it's illegal. It's not like he's doing anything illegal there. For at least one of you guys, I feel your spouse is a cancer masculine. So that could be the danger, especially money matters as well. Because, um, I mean, he's not breaking any laws there he's not uh but he knows he's not too um somebody's got a very spicy husband i'll tell you that um he could have cancer in his sun moon rising venus ortho main haven or jupiter charts if that resonates for you somebody needs to be careful uh, only you know your relationship with your husband so if that uh, resonates for you marry cancer uh, marry taurus Finn. um or for some it could be taurus masculine marry taurus masculine uh, maybe it's a homosexual relationship for some maybe it's for some it's a heterosexual but you are legally married to this person and one of you guys it's a cancer masculine you're married to i'll tell you that Ooh, we grace windows getting busted out is about to become a very significant part of a Taurus's life soon Oh my lord, I heard windows getting busted out is about to become a very significant part of a Taurus's life soon. So you could be masculine in Taurus, some kind of windows getting busted out energy. I think you're about to have grace, handle this in a very graceful, tactful manner, hopefully, at least I hope. Hopefully you're not going to be yelling and screaming at him, chasing him down the damn street like a freaking idiot. I hope not. Um, and yes, I said idiot because if you run down the street, chasing him down the street, like that is idiot-like behavior. I'm not calling anybody an idiot, but that would be idiot-like behavior, and I'm just being real. The smart thing would be to call the police, make a police report. Handle it very gracefully and very tactfully, and, um, you know, do it the right way. So, I think you're about to handle this in grace and tact. It could be your windows about to get busted out, or somebody you're connected to. But somebody's windows are about to get busted out. Um, I think the grace card popped up as far as handling in a graceful manner. Yeah, you're going to be pissed about it. Hell yeah, I'd be pissed about it. Anybody be pissed about that? But you have to handle in a graceful, tactful manner. I feel you're about to call the police for the ones that are about to handle in a gracefully, graceful, tactful manner. That's what I feel. A particular Taurus is about to catch un unknown underwear. In a glove box. Oh, for one of them, they're crotchless. Oh. Oh, okay, y'all. Whoa. Okay, for one of you guys, you're about to catch unknown underwear in a glove box, I heard. Um, one of, one of, it's at least two situations in the universe. For one of you guys, they're crotchless underwear. So, um, I feel you're either in a relationship, you're either dating somebody, you're either in a, a committed relationship, a live-in situation, or a legally married situation, but however that resonates, some kind of underwear energy in a glove box, um, you're about to catch this. Uh, obviously, they're not your underwear, and I feel, I mean, there's a, you're either in a relationship or somebody else's underwear that you just, you're trying to find something out of the glove box, and then boom, they pop these, I'm, I hope they I'm, they probably have been used. They probably have been used in all seriousness. I don't think they're clean underwear. I think they've been used, and I hope you get a glove or some uh, napkin or something before you touch them. I just want to throw that out there. That's nasty. 
Um, ew. I feel uncomfortable even delivering this one. Um, but at least one of you guys is about to do uh, catch this, I'm feeling. Um, however that resonates. I, that's why I like being legal single and not dating a damn soul. Um, so hopefully you handle this in a tactful, graceful manner and you don't um, go cray cray um, when you find these underwear for one of you guys, a crotchless underwear in this glove box. Whether it's your partner cheating on you or just somebody else's underwear and you have, you know, the case of the, uh, the case of the mysterious, dirty, crotchless underwear begins. I mean, I'm not sure. Only you know your story, not anybody else. Hello? A Taurus is considering collaborating with the Pisces. Tarot card reading. Game. Okay, I heard a Taurus is considering collaborating with Pisces. Tarot card reading. Game. So, if this resonates with you, a Taurus, I feel you're a reader or you want to read. You either are a reader now or you're considering getting to the tarot card reading game. I heard tarot card reading game. So, I don't consider tarot card reading a game. I don't. I take it very seriously. I really do. Uh, but some people, they obviously don't. So um, I think you think you're going to make a lot of money. Maybe you've been having money problems and you want to uh, do tarot card reading. You think it's going to boost your income, boost your financial success. Um, and you want to collaborate with the Pisces to do it. Um, that's what I'm feeling. Um, but just a warning for whoever that's for. Um, if you're doing this strictly for money, you're, it's not going to work. It's not going to work. It might work temporarily, but it's not going to work in the long run because people are going to find out. People, I mean, people aren't dumb. Most people are not dumb. And they have really, if they use their intuition correctly, they will figure out you're doing it for money, whoever you are, whether you've already started reading for us or you already are reading. I'm not sure. But you're a Taurus reader and you're considering collaborating with Pisces. In the tarot card reading game. So you plug in how it resonates. I feel this is workflow, business flow. You want business to increase. You want your money stream to increase. Um, you want your money flow to increase. That's exactly what I'm feeling here. I think you're having money um, danger. I think you're having money problems. Whoever you are. Or you're about to. How that resonate? Someone's water is about to get turned off. And someone is about to have, not a Taurus, is about to have extremely horrible problems with their electric. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. I was waiting to see if I heard anything else. So one of you guys' water is about to get turned off, I heard. No, that goes in with the electric usually. In most places, um, electricity and water goes in together um, with the bill. Uh, in my, my city, it goes in together. Trash, water, and electric all goes in together. So, But at least one of you guys is about to have some kind of issues with your water um, being turned off. So... You might want your water turned off. Maybe you're having plumbing issues. Uh, maybe you are you are free-willingly having it turned off. That could be the flow, too. Maybe you're having plumbing issues, or you're about to, possibly, um, for some. And maybe that's why your water is going to get turned off. Um, or maybe for some, the, you, the bill's not being paid, and it gets turned off, so you won't have water. I mean, only you know your story, not anybody else. Um, and then one of you guys, I heard not a Taurus, not a Taurus. So it's, I think it's somebody you're connected to is about to start having issues with their, their electricity. Um, so I don't know if they're not paying the bill. I don't know if there's something going on with electrical, um, electrical in their home, um, or something like that, but some kind of 
issues with the electricity. Um, I don't know if the lights are going to start flickering or something like that. Uh, maybe they have to call and report it to their electricity um, service provider, possibly, however that resonates. But um, however that resonates. All right, let me see if I hear anything else. A significant accident is about to become very, very, very significant in a tourist's life soon. Motor, ve motor vehicle accident. Okay, I heard a significant motor vehicle accident is about to become very, very significant in a tourist's life soon. So you plug it in however that resonates, if, if that resonates for you, Taurus. A significant motor, ve motor vehicle accident is about to become very significant in your life soon. Now, it could be you getting in this motor vehicle accident or somebody you're connected to. In the Daily Tea earlier today, I pulled in a motor vehicle accident, a cancer. So for some, you could be dealing with a cancer. I didn't hear you. Well, one has a uh, cancer husband. So for some, it could be your cancer husband maybe getting into a motor vehicle accident. For some, for some not. But some kind of significant motor vehicle accident, whether it's you getting in this motor vehicle accident or somebody you're connected to. But um, it's about to become very, very significant in your life soon. It sounds like it hasn't happened yet, but it's about to. So only you know your story, not anybody else. You have to plug it in your life, how it resonates. A Taurus is having a huge realization that their life has completely changed because of choices they have made in the past. And they are right, it has. Okay, so you plug it in, how it resonates. Wow, Taurus, I heard uh, for one of you guys, you have had a huge realization that your life has completely changed because of some kind of choices you have made in the past. Um, and it has completely shifted your life. It sounds like the direction of your life from here on out because of some kind of significant choices you have made in the past, either positive or negative choices you made in the past. But whatever positive or negative choices you have made in the past, it has significantly changed and shifted your life, your life here on out in some kind of way. It would not have shifted, but it has shifted it now. To me, that can go positively or negative. So, so you only, you know, your story, not anybody else, whoever you are, at least one of you guys is having wake up calls in the universe, realizing this, I'm feeling either you've already realized it or you're about to. How that resonates for one's life. I feel that could be the flow energy too. You're realizing your life has flowed in this one specific direction because of the choices you have made in the past. Whether it's marriage, whether it's money, whether it's um, somebody's about to report an air sign to the feds. Maybe it's that. Some kind of very serious situation in the past. I heard Secret 7, whether you were involved in Secret 7 or not. Um, however that resonates, some kind of very significant life choice you have made previously. It could, for some, it could be one life choice. For some, it could be two plus. But it has flowed your life into a certain direction. Now, whether you like this direction or you don't, only you know your story, not anybody else. A particular tourist has invested in someone in a food truck venture. However, it was the wrong person. You're about to really, really, really realize this in a huge way. Soon. Business is about to tank down in a huge negative way. Oh, my Lord, Taurus. Uh, so one of you guys has invested in someone in some kind of food truck venture, I heard. So it sounds like it was you investing your money. Your money, uh, your money into somebody. And it sounds like you loaned them money. It sounds like you loaned them money for a food truck venture. Um, but I heard it was the wrong person. And you're basically about to realize this very soon. So I think the business is about to go down this food truck. Um, maybe they're not, maybe they're not, maybe they're lazy. Maybe they don't want to work. Maybe they're not, um, maybe they're not good. Maybe they're not a good cook. Or maybe they're just lazy. Or maybe they're not doing what they need to do to drive in the business. I mean, I'm not sure, but you, uh, I heard you're about to realize you invested in the wrong person. You, it sounds like you loaned somebody money or you co-loaned somebody some money for some kind of food truck venture, but it's about, you're about to realize soon it's, it was the wrong choice. So danger, especially in money matters, I think with this 
loan or loans with this food truck venture. Um, but I think you have a part in this biz business investment with this food truck venture. So I think your money is about to suffer too because it sounds like that business is about to flow into the ground. Um, how this resonates for whoever. All right. Well, I love you guys. I hope everybody has a wonderful day and namaste.